Is it wrong for me to take off my shirt, walk around in the summertime, have people looking at me, paying attention, which means they're giving me energy? Am I wrong? Am I wrong to stand out amongst all the other guys? Is it wrong for me to stand out? So when I talk about gathering up this energy from people, is that wrong? If that's wrong, then it's wrong for a person to get a nice paint job, new rims, a nice car, drop the top and drive down Pacific Coast Highway. People staring, looking at that nice car. It's wrong. If what I do is wrong, then that's wrong. If what I do is wrong, then putting on a nice hat, a suit and tie and some nice shoes is wrong. Because all of this stuff that I just said and more is meant to gather other people's energy, man, for them to pay attention. Why do the guy get the Ferrari, especially the red one? He probably don't even like red. But he know that it stands out. He's going to get the attention. And when people give him that attention, he's going to feel good. And if he's a wise man, he's going to invest that attention, that energy that people paid him into more things to get more energy. Because it's all about the energy, man. You hear what I'm saying? It's all about the energy. Now, I admit, I do work out because it's healthy. It's life. I believe that all men should be on a workout program. But there's another side of me that do enjoy this energy because it is life. It is nature. It is natural. There's people out there that'll make you not even want to say the word energy. They'll say that it's evil. It's new age or esoteric talking about energy when it's all about damn energy. Physically, if you are extremely fatigued, meaning you don't have no energy, you can't even get out of bed, man. Mentally, if you don't have no energy mentally, then you can't even visualize positive things to manifest. You become a, a low viber. The less energy you have, the lower you vibe because it takes a certain amount of energy to think positive. So when I talk about energy Manifesting, visualizing. I'm talking about everything. This is what it's all about. So when I'm working out, I know in my mind that I'm building my temple. I'm 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 waxing. I'm I'm waxing my Lamborghini. You hear what I'm saying? And when I step out, people are going to pay attention. And I'm not stealing this attention. I'm not stealing this energy. This is totally different from NPCs and low vibers because I don't have to say nothing to nobody to get this energy. I get a lot of energy from people that's positive. It be compliments, smiles, winks, flirts. I get comp I get I get energy from the haters. From the frowns, the looking aways, the smacking of the lips. But at the end of the day, it's all energy. See, it's all energy. You hear what I'm saying? 
If I'm feeling depressed, especially in the summertime, if I'm feeling down, I already know I can put on a certain type of clothes and go out and get energy and immediately start feeling good. But here's the thing. The difference between a person that's successful with all of this energy versus a person that's not successful and will eventually become a low viber is the one that's successful invests that energy into more things that brings more attention and more energy. The other person don't. So there's two guys and both of them have nice bodies. Both of them get attention. One of them uses all of that attention, all of that energy to further himself in life. Whether he get on the track team, whether he start um, becoming a personal trainer and the list goes on. The other guy who gets the attention, who gets the energy, he don't have no goals in mind. So he just hump around. You hear what I'm saying? He meets somebody, he's on a yo-yo diet, he's buff, and then he's fat, and then he's... You understand what I'm saying? It's like the second one, he has a a slow leak in his tire, and eventually it's going to be a flat. But for now, he's feasting off of the energy that people pay him. See, this is the main thing. You practice in body games, you practice in body game. People are going to pay you that attention. There's going to be gay people that pay you attention, older people that pay you attention, different races of people that pay you attention. And a lot of them are not going to want to sleep with you. It's just that you're attracting them because you've built up something. If you build it, they will come. That is true. We're talking about body games and body game in the gym. You build that up. They're going to come. They're going to come, man. And when they come, what you have to do is use that energy to build more and never give it back. Like I said in the other video, how do you give it back? You start flirting around. You start changing up your damn program for them and stuff. You didn't used to wear no damn cologne. Now you got on cologne. You didn't used to wear no shiny shoes. Now you got shiny shoes on all up in the gym. See, you giving it back. And people that that really look at things, they could they see that. You will start losing energy. No. When when you get this energy, you invest in things that's going to get you way more energy. A YouTube channel will get you way more damn energy. You hear what I'm saying? If you're attractive and people are paying you attention on the street, just walking down the street because you invested all of your energy into something that's bringing you more and more energy, then they're going to do that on YouTube or or Instagram or whatever. Listen, you get that nice body game, right? Then you start making these videos. And people are going to start paying attention. You're going to start getting subscribers and stuff like that. And magically, automatically, you're going to start getting a little bit more muscle. You're going to start being a little bit more leaner while still doing the same exercise, still having the same diet. You're going to be better. Why? Because now... You're manifesting off the grid of other people's consciousness, your subscribers. You you, you have a nice body. You talk about health and fitness and stuff like that. 
then then people are going to look at you when they click on your videos. They're going to be like, wow, that's a healthy guy. That's like about 300 people at the same time saying that you a healthy person. You become a healthy person, man. You get this energy. You start off with some energy. You start off. You in your garage, man. You ain't got nothing to do. The first thing that a man can do is build up his body, man. It's for free. And it's a way that you can get energy, endless energy, because of the attention that people are going to pay you. When you're working out, you're not getting paid yet. But how you're going to get paid in the future is through people attention. And let's just say they pay energy. You hear what I'm saying? Now, two years later, you got all of this energy, man. It's bringing you opportunities with women with friends, it's opening up the door to network. I can go on and on about this energy. It's like my mind is on this video, but it's somewhere else. But let me let me stick with the energy, man. This dude, he, he's in the garage or whatever. He he's working now. Now he's starting to get a couple of compliments. See, these compliments are energies. That's like a cup of energy. Drink that. You know what I'm saying? You could be having a plateau of push-ups, of 500 push-ups. Somebody give you a compliment, man, you would do a thousand push-ups. Bam. Especially if the right person give you a compliment. So now he started off in a garage doing push-ups and stuff. Now summertime come, he's getting compliments. He got that energy. He invests that energy in, in a job, in a warehouse job, something small. And now he's lifting the boxes and doing the forklift and then the, the, the supervisor like it. And then, the, and then he invests in a gym membership now and it just keeps going, man. And five years later, you look up this same guy who was living with his mom's in a garage, didn't know what he wanted to do with his life. Got down and started with some pushups, man. Now this dude is going in gyms, man, taking over gyms, man. He even slept with all of the women's in the apartment buildings. You feel what I'm saying? Because he used that energy to invest in things that's going to bring more energy. It's like when a rapper, right, get, let's take a rapper and a country singer. And I'm from the hood and I love rap and stuff like that. I listen to the rap and stuff like that, but I, I got to be truthful, man. With this energy and invest in it. Let me let me show you the difference, right? So a rapper and a country singer, they both get a lot of money. Now, the rapper, nine times out of ten, the first thing he gonna do is go buy a lot of stuff that ain't gonna make no more money, no more energy gonna come in. The country star, man, this dude got acres, he got bulls and cows and stuff, he got chickens, a farm, he got, he got, um, he got big rigs, and even if he stops singing, man, he's still going to be bringing in like 10, 15 million dollars a year just off of the stuff that he, inf you know what I'm saying, man. Same damn thing with energy, man. When you get this energy invested in things that's going to bring you more and more energy. I'm telling you, I could just go out right now and just gather up energy anywhere that I go, man. Anywhere that I go. 
whether it's people that love me or whether it's people that hate me, man. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. I'm going to continue making videos about how to use this damn energy, how to visualize, how to manifest with this energy, how to do a thousand push-ups, and you only know how to, you only got the energy for 200. Get that energy, man, and watch you be able to do a thousand push-ups. Get that energy and watch you be able to visualize yourself in a tuxedo or whatever, whatever you think that's 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 valuable to you 